most surprising about Silicon Valley is how many VCs will discount a team simply for not having a technical co-founder even if their product is not technical in any significant way. Many times we've been in front of a VC and we've told them, hey, we built this and they'll be say, oh, who, who's your technical co-founder? And we'll say, well, we don't have a technical co-founder, we just built this ourselves. And they'll look at it shocked and they'll say, well, who who did you contract this out to? And we're like, no, you don't need technical talent to build a website or a marketplace these days. It's difficult because they still don't believe us and sometimes hold it against us. But I'm the one who actually built all of those things. And I have a strong belief that in most cases, when you aren't building a, a technology focused startup, you shouldn't be trying to build things from the ground up. I love that using platforms like WordPress and all of its plugins, I can bring a new feature into production in a matter of minutes, if not hours, if they're really complex, rather than days. Uh, so we don't have a lot of sunk costs going into building features that we just need to test but don't necessarily need. So it's a double-edged sword. We live in an age in which you can immediately get out-of-the-box components to build a startup, but many VCs don't necessarily know how to wrap their minds around that.